Hey guys, hold on a second, buddy. I'm talking to the yeah, hand it here. I'll get it. Hey guys, it's Pencil Tucky Trapper. I have not talked to you guys in a long time. We're at Raystown Lake. We're trying to catch big fish. Take it. Thank you. Derek and Kara are both with me. We're gonna spend the day out here and try to catch a striper. You know what? We'll catch whatever we uh, catch. You know what I mean? It's cool. I'm gonna catch a big one. Derek has a goal to catch a 300 pound fish. Which, which would really be something if he accomplishes that. I think, but I think I reset my goal to a to a slightly more realistic. Uh, 25 pounds was it? Oh, that's right. You did say 25. I mean, afterwards, I I did also say that realist realistically, I'm not even going to get a five pounder, but. So, I mean, there, we there's can a good hope chance. For the best. We've been catching good, so there's a good chance. But Kara came along for the snacks. Mm -hmm. I do not consent to being filmed. <laughs> okay. She came along for the snacks and for the fact that we wouldn't let her stay. So I got the us. boat running. Um, this has been a winter project that's turned into a COVID-19 project. So the boat was down for a long time, but we're starting to get it to where it's back in shape seems to be running really good so hopefully we'll get a couple videos going so it's not a trapping video guys sorry about that um, I'm not sorry about that you know what this is awesome this is a good day to be out fishing it's sunny and 75 right I so think you what else rename can you your channel to from pencil tucky trapper to, to pet pencil tucky outdoorist or something like that pencil tucky outdoors what do you guys think of that that's a suggestion Derek has so we're still doing trapping. We're actually planning. We have some trapping plans for this fall, but uh, right now we're trying to catch Derek a 25-pound fish. Mm -hmm. Right now, fall. Huh? Is it right now, fall. It is fall right now. Yeah, trapping season is underway, but it's a little early for me. So. I want to well, go. Kara does want to go trapping. So we don't do. We aren't properly trapping unless we're doing it in. In snow. In snow and leaves. You don't know how right you are. You guys have trained them kids up right. Alright, so let's go catch some fish. Hit it! We've trolled through the birds a few times, uh, two times. I'm going through them a third time. We're probably trolling around two miles per hour, something like that, maybe a little quicker, I don't think. Probably right around two. The lures look good at this speed. That's where we're at. We got three lines out, rolling about two miles per hour, and we're about to do the third pass. I'm doing shallow with these right now. Uh, if you haven't been to Ray's Town, you might not know it. I'm at Beer Barrel Bay. So it's a very common place if you want to come out and do this. Anyways, uh, shallow water is important here because there's a lot of trees, a lot of snags down there. So. What's that mean? That's it. No, the screen turns off to save power, but oh, it's, okay. still, it's still recording. You can shut it off now. No, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, hi, everyone. Just checking in, making sure you have a great time. It, you, you can hit hit the subscribe bell or something, I, I think. I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, have a, have a great time with your, with your day and watching the rest of this video. Goodbye. Here, shine it over here. So we're kind of wrapping it up here. It got dark on us, it's a little chilly. We're gonna pull the lines here probably about five or ten more minutes and we're gonna go to the hotel we're gonna do a little swimming tonight but we'll be back up here tomorrow or we get a full day to actually go fishing you want to look at me looks like you're Sorry. looking at the deck <laughs> I, I stopped paying attention <laughs> I noticed 
This is peak home video. Yes, it is. Bouncing around and looking <laughs> at the sky and the floor and all that stuff. Can I show you something? Look, I dried the leaf out that I found earlier. Look. Look at her nice leaf. Look at my leaf. I'm trying. I will. I would zoom in on the leaf if I knew how, but I don't, don't think I can. It's right there in front of the camera. They'll see. Oh, should I eat it? What kind of leaf is that? I do not know. Oak, birch, dark oak. It's actually an Spruce. oak. Maple. You got it on your first guess. We're going to the pool. You want to come back and get in this? No, I do not. Know. I'm good. We're going to the pool. I got the kids and they're okay, I changed going my downstairs. Mind. Hi everyone. How you doing? Fishing was not a success, but that's all right. We are going swimming. We are prepared for tomorrow though, and that will be a success. Hi, Kara, Kara, look Kara, at me. I see you. <laughs> Kara's bashful. So we're going to go swimming. Oh, oh, I'm tripping. It's a no dive session, so if you fall backwards, it's not diving. No. So if you fall in, it's not diving, right? Yeah. Ew, how do you shed? A shed? <laughs> yeah, probably not. That's disgusting. What is that? It's, it's like George's brother. Yeah. Daddy, it's George's brother. We're going to swim for a little bit. I'm going to put this away and just play. All right. Yeah. Have a great time, everyone. Good morning, we're back at it. It is just uh, about 9.30, so we woke up this morning, had a great breakfast at the hotel. And Not that great, but a pretty good breakfast. It I liked it. It was acceptable. Yeah, I liked it. I gave it a C plus rating. Okay. So, anyways, we hit the water this morning. It's about 9.30, and we're gonna go out and try to see if we can finish what we started yesterday. Someone just honked their horn. They're in distress way back there. So we're pulling lines. We're gonna go help them out. A lot of times people just run out of fuel. So we're gonna go find out. Okay. Well, I mean, he, it looked like he was waving his hand. So I think he was signaling to us. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. the actual yeah, thing like. yeah Fuel? Oh, okay where'd you put it at oh I got you uh yeah so shy beaver's quite a haul though um is there any chance we can fix it uh, no, some come apart the distributor speedboat so they were running the lake they were gonna try and go the whole way it looks like so they went down a long way I don't know if I have enough fuel to take them all the way back up but we're gonna get them a chunk so I did some figuring and we picked them up around mile marker three uh, about between three and four and they're going to shy beaver and if I'm thinking right that's like mile marker 21 or 22 Maybe 23, I'm not sure. Okay. That's how 
how far the mile marker difference is between them. Now Derek thinks that we're going to be able to get there in about an hour. So he's, he's, he's saying how fast he thinks we're going, but I don't really know if we're going to make it in that time. I'll check back and <laughs> see how we did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You got to help folks out, you know, if they're down, but just, uh, it's, a, it's our little adventure for today, right? Right, bud? Yeah. It's our adventure. It, even if we didn't get any fish, we at least got to help some people out, and I think that's much better. Even better. We are at mile marker 13.13. That has taken right about an hour. And right up there, slightly to the left, mile marker 13. Oh man, what a just a beautiful day though. Look at this. Update. <laughs> So I had a problem with my throttle cable. I couldn't get it to, I couldn't advance, you know, I couldn't put the throttle on. So I had to take my control, they're sitting there and I had to repair it. I didn't video it because we're, we're underway, you know. Anyways, apparently a little piece came off inside my forward controls and it got lodged down in there. It wouldn't let the, it just stuck, you know, it got in a place it was stuck. So I didn't disassemble it, take that little piece out of the gears. I don't even know where that piece belongs, but I got it back together. We're underway. It, this has been quite an undertaking, man, but we're getting them back to their dock, burning up a lot of fuel. And I have a little bit of concern about that, but I think we're okay. I think we have enough fuel to get back. We started mile marker three. And we are right now rounding the corner at mile marker 19. Right there. Mile marker 19. So it looks like we have, I think, I think this shy beaver is around mile marker 22 or 23. So it looks like we're gonna make it all the way. We're gonna get these boys home though. I'm not even sure you can see me. <laughs> That's the transom. The boat's back there, I promise. It's hard to see. Anyways, we made it. We got them in. We are uh, just the last little stretch here. We're coming up on Shy Beaver. The boat launch is just uh, about 200 yards ahead of me. So we did it. Four hours. That whole excursion took four hours. Anyways, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We're home again, though. We made it. Uh, all's well. Uh, actually, running from... Well from those two docks getting back in the dark that's the longest run i've ever made on raystown at night uh i've run farther you know but like at lake erie or something like that but whenever you're going down raystown you got you know shoreline on both sides and it's pitch black so you got to really pick your way through it but anyways there's markers and stuff, but anyways, it was still a long ride. It's the longest ride I've ever done from uh, uh, Shy Beaver up to Snyder's Run. So it's the northern half of the lake. A little better than half, I think. Anyways, it was cool. Got to help them out, and uh, super cool guys, really. Um, they gave me fuel, and they gave me some money. So they, they were just first class. Got skunked on the fish, but that's okay. We were there for something else, I guess. But we had a blast, man. Really a blast. So that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to close it out with that. I'm home. I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. Goodbye. See ya.